So I want to try something new in this video. Um, I'm going to show you something I've already built. I believe with the price of wood these days, this is actually um, very inexpensive. Um, and it might actually be right up your alley if you're interested in it. So these right here are, I believe, 2 by 10s um, all the drawers are one buys. So basically we got a nice little door. These are uh, two by sixes. I believe there's four of them across. You got two ton um, caster wheels. I keep my uh, router bench in here along with the empty boxes. Uh, table saw sled and you go over here you got the uh, car jack stands another uh, vice in there um, everything is pretty much closable by these little tabs that I've picked up from Home Depot apparently this one's benching up where it doesn't close unless you give it a like, nice little pounding you got your drill press um, I want to say that the, uh, I do not have anything that will uh, give you the dimensions here because while building it I actually built the drill press into it and then figured out the height from there so it, I can't even stick my finger in between the drill press and the, the top it is that tight so it actually worked out pretty good so on the top here you got uh, you got plywood this is the only plywood, I believe, in the entire thing, other than um, the one buys and the two by sixes or the two by tens. But uh, it's been a while since I've tried to do this. Figure out where. Oh, there it is. So, look up top. And the only mistake that I made in this entire thing was the gap I have here, which I didn't actually notice until after I was done. I actually put this one on wrong, and it was actually supposed to be flipped the other way, but everything was already installed. So we got a nice little latch on both sides. You can tell it's been a while since I've opened this. You drop it down, and you got your hidden lathe. <clears throat> and that's, now you understand why they're two by tens. Um, at the motors, um, I have uh -oh. not going to do the plant bulb. Side of it is, is um, with all this wood, this thing actually weighs quite a bit. Um, I'm just going to bring you in a little bit closer here. Raise the top for you. So you got your lathe, and then what I did was I put a junction box in that actually runs the wire around and um, you got your motor going out and the motor actually feeds into a, dis um, a uh, variable uh, switch you can actually control how the motor works but basically what this is is it's an outlet so you take power from the outside into an extension cord and you plug it in and now you have outlets on both sides you can actually plug in your drill press into one your uh, 
router table into another. Oh, and apparently I locked it. So on the top here I got standard standard drawers. This right here used to be under here. So when you pulled it far enough it would stop before it came out. The problem with that was sometimes you need to just take the drawer out. So all four of them, same sizes. Then you got the deep drawer all my electrical items or whatnot and then I got uh, a lighting drawer uh, I got saws in here um, or magnets and, and that's pretty much what it looks like um, I will also have some still images uh, connected to this video which hopefully will help you out if you do decide that you you want to try this the only thing that I that I ask is if you do the lathe part if you do this part right here make sure that you um, keep in mind that this part is actually supposed to be flipped over and moved inward um, this was an add-on that I had actually made all it is is a uh, a two by uh, or sorry a one by four on this side this side and two little cutoff pieces to make the um, the initial gap drill them both together on either side and then drill it straight to you know whatever you're working with it'll hold everything it'll hold um, hammers it'll hold I got a I got a hatchet back there I got um, clamps on them that are, is hooked up to my bigger uh, I, don't, I don't even know what the hell I'd call it. Uh, it it basically looks like that um, that's another video if, if you want me to show you uh, exactly how I did this one uh, leave a comment um, I'd be more than happy to uh, dissect this one for you I have a bunch of still images on exactly how I did it um, if you do decide to do something like this and you put it that close to your ceiling in your two-car garage my advice get help because I actually used um, the uh, come alongs or ratchet straps and I hooked them up to these right here and I lifted the whole thing up and I was on my own when I did it so so recap uh, workbench, uh, lathe table. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down. Leave them in the comments below. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.